Hey guys, how you doing? I'm just going to do a video here on an exercise we're going to be doing called a banded knee drive. Okay, so this is a good exercise for training the hip flexors, but also sort of like getting your body used to certain angles and positions and engaging muscles in a particular way that are relevant to running. So what we do is you just sort of stand behind or in line with the markers here, and that's just in your, that's just to keep, make sure that you're consistently this distance away from the wall. It, so that you're going to end up in a position about here. Okay, so if you're a bit shorter, you come a bit closer, the taller you are, you might need to go a bit further away. But what we're looking for is roughly this sort of starting position. What I want you to do is keep your arms straight, so don't bend the elbows, keep your arms straight. Push your chest out, so you're keeping your shoulders back slightly. And we want you to keep your core engaged here throughout. So what we don't want to see is like your bum sticking out like this. So draw everything in, so your ribs are down, you've got a nice tight core here. The glutes are not quite fully engaged yet, but they, they will be when you go to one leg. Okay, so focus on, like, as I said, make sure your bum's not sticking out, tucking under slightly. And then what you're going to do is just drive forward this knee. And as you're doing that, make sure you don't round through your upper body. So that's why if you keep your arms straight and push your chest forward, as you're pulling your foot towards the bar, okay? As you're doing that, you're also trying to keep extending through the hip here by squeezing the glute muscle. Okay, so you're trying to extend this hip while keeping the chest out, keeping the core tight, and at the same time, obviously, you're in this position here on the ball, your foot's, your calf's activated. Every sort of, I was talking for a bit long there, but every sort of five to 10 seconds swap sides, so you don't need to hold it as long as Anna's did there. But actively try and focus on pulling this foot forward, keeping the core nice and engaged, making sure you're not rounding like this, keeping the chest out, and then in the end, you're going to switch every, like I said, every five to 10 seconds, paying attention to all the different things you're thinking about, Hips, in, hips extended but via the glutes, chest out, core nice and tight, so you're not, although you're pushing your chest out, you're not doing this, you're not letting these ribs flare, you want to keep it nice and neutral, and then just switch. Okay, so this is primarily for your hip flexors, but it's also really useful for sort of training, even in a sort of like neurological way, training, like what you should be doing um, in terms of positioning and muscle engagement in certain positions related to running. Okay, so give it a wee go, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes.